Hello everyone. It's raining men. Hallelujah. Here we are at uh, Un Tarit uh, tram station at line number 10 in Zurich, Switzerland. This is the tram we just came on back from the main station of Zurich. And what happens is uh, the <laughs> train comes from the airport, the Flugel line, something like that, Flugel station or something, and goes all the way into Zurich main train station, and then it goes on to Bern. Um, so we walked around today, we had a little Burger King, and we found line 10 of the tram, because we were on the main train line earlier, and we were lost. We didn't know where we were going, how are we gonna, how are we gonna go all travel in a day? through this part of Zurich and Switzerland, and we can't even figure out how to get around the trains. So the good news is now we know how to do a tram. Tonight, pray for us, um, because we're going to try to go to a mountain, maybe go to the Lint Chocolate Factory, maybe go to the city center, maybe go to Lake uh, Zurich, all in the same time. And it just started raining, so we're staying out of the rain right now. But it's raining because we just had a meeting with one of my former students and we started getting into talking about faith issues and prophetic issues for social injustice that God could use even a young 25 year old man like him to have prophetic issues for social justice for the next generation. So pray for this man. Even as I'm talking about God touching a man, we told the man, the young man, that I especially came to this city, flew around the world, spent a fortune so that I could come and pray for him and his girlfriend and his future and his family and pray that God will be with him and God will use him. Even now as I'm praying, the rain is coming down. We were able to tell stories of the Holy Spirit's presence touching people, about falling under the power of God by the hundreds of praying, going to church every night, worshiping in intercession. That is the promise for Zurich, and that is the promise for Switzerland, that is the promise for Europe. So pray with me. In Jesus' name, worry has to go. In Jesus' name, forgiveness comes. Healing comes. People who are in prisons that are receiving prison ministry now in Switzerland, they will come to the Lord. The lost will be found. Those who are selling themselves or who have been sexual trafficked will come to the Lord. There will be a healing. The people that are coming that are from different religions and only think about money and only think about power and violence, you will break the darkness in Jesus' name. Worry has to go. The demonization and victimization has to go. In Jesus' name. Hallelujah. 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 Jesus in Zurich, Jesus in Switzerland, Jesus in me, Jesus in you. Everyone, let's love one another. Bring courage one another. Pray for one another. For When I was young, when somebody would sneeze, they would say, Gesundheit. That's like, God bless you. So I don't know what that means, if it means anything, but God bless you. Keep believing. The Lord has a plan for your life, and it's going to be a long plan and a long life. Do the studies you need to do. Make the risk and investments you need to do. God is with you. Be bold. Be strong. For the Lord your God is with you. We love you. With the love of the Lord, we can see in you the glory of our King. And we love you with the love. We love you with the love. We love you with the love of the Lord. Uh, some things I've noticed. Uh, some Swiss men who are salesmen are very German, very strong, in and Swiss in what, who they are, their country, their people. So, keep going, Swiss. You have a part in the Bride of Christ. 
and we love you. See you later.